How's it going guys? So today in the Phantom Cave YouTube channel, we're going to be talking to the one, the only, Glenn Lubson, the guy behind the covers of the Giant Size Series 2. And today we have got seven questions to ask to him and hope you enjoy this. Hi, Glenn Lumsden here, and I'm answering a few Phantom-related questions for Bradley Kelly. So the first actual question that I've got for Glenn Lumsden here is, what is your history at being an artist for the Phantom? The Phantom. Um, that uh, starts in about the mid-90s, when uh, uh, I and uh, my business partner at the time, Dave DeVries, we did a mini-series for Marvel Comics. It was called uh, The Phantom Goes to Walks. And then after that, uh, I did a few uh, bits and pieces, posters, trading cards, uh, a diary cover, and then nothing for a fair until period. about four years ago when I started doing the giant size covers for Fru. And I'm still doing those today, and, and uh, I absolutely love doing them. So in the second question we have today is, what is your history in the profession like? When did you start doing the his when did you start doing the Phantom? It can include other published works, including Marvel, DC, independent comics, stuff like that. Uh, a bit about my comic history uh, as a creator. Uh, that goes back to the early eighties, uh, when I got together with some um, like-minded comic enthusiasts in Sydney, and uh, we all put out this uh, Aussie comic called Cyclone. We did that for a few years, and um, that led to doing some work in America for a, uh, a company called Malibu. And then that led to uh, doing some work for the bigger companies like Marvel, DC, Valiant, and Dark Horse, etc. There's some very good historical sort of pieces coming out of Glenn Lubston actually right now. And the third question, it is quite simple and quite quite easy, actually. So, what is your hobbies? What are my hobbies? My hobby is not terribly interesting, I'm afraid. I'm, <laughs> I love creating comics. So I find that that's kind of my hobby as well as my, my, my proper work. Um, I love uh, collecting old comic books, especially comics that I had as a kid, which um, ones which really meant something to me. And uh, old books, uh, board games, old LPs, things like that. Um, I also love growing vegetables in my veggie garden. So uh, in amongst all that, that gives me plenty to so fill my time. So in the fourth sort of question, we've had a great interview with you today. And in the fourth question today, it is what inspires you to do a lot of your Phantom comic covers, especially the second giant size Phantom series? Where do I get my inspiration and motivation for my giant size covers? Well, um, I am fascinated by the history of comics and I spend hours going over thousands and thousands of old comic books and, and their covers. I uh, love to analyse what what is special about those covers, what gives them that special feel, which to me evokes the uh, the fun and the the innocence and um, a sense of wonder that uh, I used to feel when I was a kid reading them. So I like to analyse that and hopefully bring that to these new covers that I'm doing for the giant size. Um, I try to walk that fine line between, um, I don't want to take the mickey out of them, I don't want to be too kitsch, but I also want to evoke that sense of nostalgia and fun as well. So hopefully I manage to achieve that balance, um, and, but that's basically what I'm trying to do. So if, uh, if you get that feeling from my covers, then I would consider that a successful cut. So we've had a great interview so far, and we are now up to question five. So in question five, we are talking about, do you have any new Phantom stories or covers coming out? 
Do I have any current stories and covers going? Yes, I'm still doing the covers for the giant size. Um, and I'm also, I've just finished doing a story, a brand new story for giant size as well, which uh, uh, in issue 15 will be part three of the Phantom and Shadow crossover. That is, that's not the American Shadow, that is the Australian Shadow that was published by Fru in the um, 50s and 60s. And in the story, the Phantom and the Shadow team up to foil a, um, a gang of, uh, of criminals who have taken some uh, divers hostage on an old fishing trawler. I've got some new ideas as well for stories, but I'll, I'll have to run those past the editors at Fru first, but hopefully um, I would love I would love to do some more of these crossovers. In the last question today, folks, we have with Glenn Lubston is what advice as an artist and a writer as you were, would you give any sort of budding artists or writers some advice to try and improve their drawings or improve their style of writing of like dialogue their comic sort of writing young creators i do the the number one thing i would say is do not take criticism personally um what i like to do is to see my drawing as something that exists apart from me it's not me it, it's over there, apart from me. And I'm trying to make it the best drawing as possible. Uh, and other people are trying to help me make it uh, the best drawing it can possibly be. So when you see it from that perspective, people who are giving you advice and criticism, they're helping you. They're, they're not trying to hurt you. Now, when I was much younger, I, I, I couldn't do that. I would take it personally and in effect, I was the one main reason why I couldn't improve because I didn't want to hear what people were saying. But once I matured enough to realize that I am not my drawing and that these people were trying to help me, then I could take on board what they were saying. And that meant that I could now improve and evolve as a, as a creator, as an artist. And that has been um, a major turning point for me and I think a lot of young creators would find themselves uh, having that same internal battle where they want to improve, but they are not letting themselves improve by being able to take on board the advice and criticism of other people. So, yeah, I think that's, that's the most important bit of advice I feel I can give. So thank you, Bradley, for giving me this opportunity to answer these questions. And... Um, uh, good luck with all your future endeavours. Adios. So thank you, Glenn Lobston. Um, we've had an awesome time with you today and I hope the viewers have experienced a experience like no other that we actually can do more interviews like this. So please support the channel down below, subscribe down below and check out Glenn... Glenn Lubston's comic art and always try and always support local artists and local writers to basically either buy commissions off them or basically do anything to do with if they're an artist support local artists as a whole and the world will be a much better place and so subscribe down below Keep on Phantom Caving, nearly forgot that. And as always, keep Phantom Caving. We'll see you next time on the Phantom Cave YouTube channel. See you.